Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com. Just bringing you a uh, update on the uh, European markets for the Thursday trading session, 9th of August 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. And be sure to visit CFDs.com as well and certainly take advantage of that bonus that's available. Okay, now in terms of... Uh, the markets this morning, FTSE certainly down, given the fact that oil prices certainly have uh, started to move lower. Uh, the latest news from the World Trade Organization is that uh, we have uh, a slowdown in global growth, uh, and given the fact that we've got this uh, protectionist uh, policy uh, and trade tariffs certainly going into play, uh, especially given the fact that China certainly retaliating yesterday as well, again, to the US's potential imposition of tariffs. So the situation certainly is, uh, is deteriorating as opposed to getting better. So again, that is certainly a risk off uh, and certainly looking for a uh, market move lower. FTSE certainly has reflected that this morning. Uh, European markets were certainly down. They've certainly short squeezed on the back of obviously stronger earnings from the likes of Adidas. Uh, we've got uh, ThyssenKrupp as well this morning. So uh, again, can that sustain itself? I'm just looking at the latest uh, economic data that's coming at the moment. I've also got concerns regarding Italy as well. Confident that coming months, country will win EU backing for greater budget leeway. So again, a uh, showdown. Uh, EU to offer a major Brexit concession to PMA. DAX jumps. Okay, so DAX jumping on the back of that. Uh, loss of trade momentum reflects weakness in exports. That's the latest news there. Obviously, tit for tap. Potential trade war certainly is uh, ongoing as well. US trade dispute reported causing a rift within China government. So again, uh, uncertainty there. Let's see if that continues. Right, he's preparing to offer a major Brexit concession to Theresa May. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so again, let's see how the markets react from that perspective. Now, let's look at the technical picture here for European uh, indices. Let's start off with the German DAX. As you can see, they're certainly holding that base at 12,600. So you have to respect the DAX for that. The market certainly is holding its, uh, its own there at 12,600. It certainly seems like it's not making a lower low yet, as of yet, anyway. Uh, the 60 minute chart at the moment still oscillating between those two levels 12900 and 12600. In terms of the French CAC, let's have a look here again. We've closed the gap, moved lower, and then obviously short squeeze back up to gap fill. Uh, even though Chinese markets were higher overnight, you had the Nikkei certainly lower. Uh, China certainly riding on the back of potential stimulus now. Uh, a fiscal stimulus package certainly seems to be uh, in play in terms of infrastructure. And that certainly is helping the indices uh, certainly bounce. And also given the fact that they've been down almost 25% in terms of the market in general. So again, looking for lower lows, lower highs there. FTSE 100 certainly is the uh, the weakest today, given the fact that oil prices certainly are under pressure. Uh, and also obviously global growth concerns. Although copper has started to perk higher. Okay, oil prices certainly are under, under pressure at present, given the fact that Chinese... Uh, imposition of tariffs uh, certainly hit the oil sector as well auto tariffs as well also steel tariffs so again designed to hurt america um, really it's not hurt america it's just basically retaliating you're allowed to defend yourselves against um, uh well whether you want to call it financial oppression so again FTSE 100 next potential support zone is seen at around 7720 then you've got 7707 so watch out there uh, in terms of potential support below so the index of the FTSE certainly looks very weak out of all the indices. Uh, certainly an argument can be made that we're going to test 7670 again, potentially go down to 7580. So watch out for weakness there. Okay, I think that's a good summary. It's uh, basically a summation really of European indices. The conclusion really is that the indices are in, in trouble, uh, I guess, especially given the fact that global World Trade Organization highlighting global growth concerns. Uh, again, the situation with regards to China as well isn't exactly... Uh, Positive risk positive, so bear that in mind too. In terms of the US um, data that is going to be coming on board, we've got producer price, can jobless claims, uh, Mr. Evans is speaking, Fed Evans is speaking, so nothing major. Okay, so let's see how the uh, US indices perform. Now, one of the most important factors here is that the SP 500 certainly is reaching a potential plateau. Okay, you've got a doji candle in yesterday, you've got a topping tail. Especially after you've closed the gap at 28.54. You've got a double top at 28.72. There's a gap fill there as well. Certainly can't see the markets uh, closing that gap given the fact that you've got trade war concerns. Now, if the S&P has a negative day today, 
then you are going to see a lot of the uh, European indices flushing quite hard as well, especially given the fact that we've got Gafia 2850, then obviously next potential support is down below 2825. And that certainly is a possibility given the trade war concerns that we have. So a sharp reversal in the S&P 500 expected, which, can call, which in turn obviously causes a reversal in European indices. Watch out for that potential uh, 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 certainly, uh, scenario. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading and needs take advantage of that bonus and be sure to visit trade signal latest signals and market updates from leading providers goodbye now